to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! Oh, hey, hey, it's me, Blippi. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting. Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. Check it out. See, I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand so then everyone will wanna come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right, you see these yellow triangles? Yeah, what is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, here we go. And then, we actually have a little bit more of this. Wow, have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay, how about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here, perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon. We're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this. Ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. There we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. Oh, it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now 
pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> we're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. Okay. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, that's a perfect amount. Okay. So the lemons were free. The water was 10 cents. Yeah. And now we need to sweeten it up. Because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar. Yeah. That's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're gonna add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents, and then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa, all right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo, oh, oh, that silly one fell out. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna just use these. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, looks like they float. Whoa, raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, so now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. All right, let's put in some ice <laughs> to chill it down so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So. Now that we have nice, cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here and our cost is $1. So eight cups, if we sell them for $1 would be $8. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, we did it. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh, I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh. Fantastic. How much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar. I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. What kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade. My favorite. I can't wait to try. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? 
B L I P P I. Blippi, good job. All right, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glass. In Leavenworth, Washington. Whoa! And look at all these. Wow! These are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out. Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa! I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade. Here, yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. <laughs> okay, here we go, come on. Wow. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow. Glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow, there's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors. <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. <laughs> Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow, look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bench. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa, oh hey, look. They're kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay. Let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. 
This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. And it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not gonna touch that. Oh, it's nice and warm though. Whoa! Look at all these little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa! Yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. And you know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold the nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa, all right. Whoa! And down here, whoa, looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. That keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa, check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where that glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it. Kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome! <laughs> Kind of look like tweezers.
Oh, you see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this heart. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that heart. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First I need to roll it. Yeah! Oh, that's really fun. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. All right, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> You see how I'm spinning it? Yeah! It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! It is very hot! Okay. Now roll it. Whoa! 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 Oh. Okay. Just keep going. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to, it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You gotta let it cool down so that when you cover it with more hot glass that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank above. Oh, okay. Now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Okay. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold, but when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey, because that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. It's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it, but I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right there? 
Wow. Get a little bit more of a crease. Try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Well yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off of the metal rod. Now we're keeping that back truck point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made. Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah, do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah, blue and orange. Whoa, <laughs> here it is. Wow, we did such a good job making this heart. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot. Yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey. <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. 
Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right, let's put them on their side and then Let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! The water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect! So now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah! It's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was bored already. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. Hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. Airplanes, airplanes, 
fly with propellers. Some airplanes fly with jet engines. I love to look up and see their wings waving down at me. Some airplanes fly just for fun Some fly for business trips Business or pleasure You can make an airplane out of paper Throw it in the air and watch it go I love to look up and see its wings Waving down at me fun learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>me Blippi and I was just dancing oh, but it's really hot outside I wish I could take a break well no time for breaks when you're dancing oh, do you see that oh it's a popsicle cart and I love popsicles I think you and I should get a popsicle let's go Hey. Hi, Blippi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Julia. Oh. Would you like a handmade popsicle? Yeah, I love popsicles. What flavor do you have? This is cha-cha-cha. It's mango, pineapple, and chia seed. Ooh, that sounds so yummy. Mango, pineapple, and chia seeds. <laughs> that is so yummy! Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Do you want to come see how they're made? Yeah! That would be so much fun. All let's right, go! Let's go! Welcome to my kitchen. Wow, look at this place. It's so cool! Thanks. Now, first thing, you need to gear up. Oh, check it out! This is an apron. Here we go. Wow. Okay, well, what do we have here? So, these are all the ingredients we use to make our popsicles. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of fruit and vegetables. Yep, you got it. We actually use a lot of superfoods in our popsicles. So, wow. you'll see kale, and avocado, oh. and spinach, and chia seeds. What's this? This is a coconut. Wow, that's cool. A coconut. Well, cool. Well, what flavor are we making? I thought we could make Popeye. Popeye? Yeah! All right. That's why I call it Popeye. Um, I don't know. Why? I use spinach. Okay. So here you go. Hold the spinach. I was Ooh. making a batch earlier, so I thought we could just add to it. Okay, so here's some spinach, and what do you have? Strawberries. Strawberries. And to sweeten it, we use dates. Ooh, dates. <laughs> All right. 
Come on back. Oh, okay. So here's the batch I was working on earlier. Oh, look at it. All right. Oh, that looks yummy. <laughs> Go ahead, let's add it in. Okay. Bye-bye, spinach. <laughs> And then here are some strawberries. Ooh. And dates. Yum. Now, what might be different about your kitchen is we have some big equipment we use here. Really? <laughs> I'm excited. Whoa, look at that. That thing is massive. What does that thing do? This is our immersion blender. Wow. So you put it in. Whoa. You hit the button. Whoa. So that just blends it up into yes. a liquid? It sure does. Wow, that looks so yummy. Well, now what do we do? Now we're gonna put it in our mold. Okay. And I'm gonna get my trusty pitcher. Ooh. Wow. All right. So it's basically three ingredients all blended up to make one. Yummy tasting liquid. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in. Oh. And then you kinda just have to feed it through. Shake it around. Yeah. May I? Of course. Okay. Well, here's some more. Whoa! <laughs> we got some chunky ones in there. <laughs> That's okay. There's some more. Okay. And then next what we need to do is We'll just put in our sticks. Ooh. Yeah, like a popsicle stick. Have you ever eaten a popsicle and you hold on to the piece of wood? Yeah, that's what we just put in there. So it makes them so handy. Okay. And now we put it into our extra special popsicle machine. Whoa, what does so this thing do? It makes it super cold. It freezes a popsicle in 18 minutes. Wow. I'm so excited. I sure do love popsicles. Hey, check it out. Put it in. Whoa, so is that just really cold in there? Yes, it's actually made out of a special popsicle freezing liquid. Whoa, all I right. I can't tell you all my secrets. Huh. Well, maybe for later. Well, now what do we do? Well, usually when I wait for popsicles to freeze, I like to dance. Okay, let's go, woohoo! I am so excited. All right, let's see what we have to work with. All right, you know what kind of fruit this is, right? Yeah, this is an apple. Okay, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, what are these? Check these out. Yeah, these are lemons. Lemons are the color yellow. Wow, and then we have some greens over here. Whoa, spinach! Wow! Whoa! 
Hello! <laughs> it's like hair! Whoa, whoa! This is kale! And kale is really yummy! <laughs> and it doesn't like containers. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's put these back in here so then we can continue to see what type of fruits and vegetables we have. Like this! Whoa! This is so heavy! Whoa! Whoa! Ah, yeah! This is a watermelon, and watermelons are so big and yummy. Do you know what color is on the inside of the watermelon? Yeah, red, and the outside is green. Okay, just a couple more. Bananas and pineapple, yum! Okay, so you can see we have this big bucket right here, and we need to put a lot of the ingredients right in here. Can't forget about the strawberries. We'll start with those. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that kale. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's put some in there. <laughs> we are doing so good. Oh, apples! Okay, we could put the whole apple in there, but I think we should probably slice it. Have you ever had a slice of an apple? They're so yummy. Okay, here is our red apple slicer. And then put it right in the center, just like that. And then you push down. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Slice the apples, so then you pull them out and then you can put them right in our big bucket. Wow. And you keep the core, whoop. <laughs> you keep the core, which is the center, out of it, because there's a lot of seeds in there. Oh, speaking of seeds, watermelons have seeds. <laughs> okay, let's cut open the watermelon. Whoa. I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown-up with this knife. Ready? Okay, here we go. Chop it in half, just like that. Flip it around. Wow, look at that. That looks so yummy. Our popsicles are gonna be so yummy. Okay, um, I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, we have some bananas. Open those up. Here we go. Bye bye, banana. Woohoo! <laughs> and we'll do another banana. Yum! Here we go. <laughs> Yum! Look at it. Is that looking tasty or does that look tasty? <laughs> Whoa! And remember, we learned what fruit this is. Yeah, the coconut. All right, these are a little tricky to open, but it's worth the trouble. So let's take the coconut opener. Whoa, we did it! Look at that! Whoa! Wow! Look at all that liquid! I just want to drink it all up. Oh, okay. We'll put that in the bucket for the popsicles. Whoa! Oh, yum. Okay, use this little coconut device and pull out some of the coconut meat. Yeah, right in there. Ooh, yummy. There we go. All right, perfect. Let's bring it right over here. Yum. All right. Oh, spinach right here. Woohoo! And then we have a bunch of grapes. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 grapes. All right, 
And then remember these? We used these earlier. These are dates. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, can't forget about the lemons. We have so many types of fruits and vegetables in here. Here we go. Wow. Okay, let's take these and give a little squeeze. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, have you ever tasted a lemon before? Okay, let's try some. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's sour. Okay, let's wash our hands. And then last but not least, we have a pineapple. We cut the pineapple just like that. And you see that yellow? That looks so yummy. So now we take this pineapple tool, put it right on top, and then give it a little twist. Wow, look at that. And then you pull it out. Whoa, check that out. And then take it off just like this. And that's gonna give it some nice sweetness to these yummy popsicles. All right, I think that's plenty. Look at, whoa, that's so heavy. Come on back here. Remember that next step that we do? Yeah, she taught us that you put the bucket whoa, right here and take the big blender. Whoa, whoa, and we blend it up. Here we go. All right, now it's all mixed up. Wait a second though, we need the magic tool. This is a giant whisk. Woohoo! Check this out. Alrighty, it's adding some color. <laughs> okay, let's put this right over here. And then we can bring this up and grab this pitcher. Remember from earlier, we need to scoop some out. Oh, oh, I am so excited. Pour some in. Let's grab another scoop. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa! All right, I think that's plenty. So let's give it a shake. Okay, yes, these are gonna be so yummy. Then let's take these sticks. Wow, that's a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Put them right in there. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we need to bring it to the cooling station. <gasps> Here we go, set it down. All right, now, remember what we had to do earlier? It's gonna take a long time. So, we get a dance while we wait. Did we hear a ding? Oh, you sure did. The popsicles must be ready. Let's check them out. Woohoo! All right. Whoa, I am so excited. Hey, we gotta drain them. I can't wait to see the ingredients you use. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, nice and come. loose. <gasps> Whoa! Look at them! Whoa! My two favorite colors! Yeah! Check them out! Blue and orange! Shall we try them? Yeah! Mmm! Do you like them? These are delicious, Flippy. You know what? You need to take those outside and go sell some pops. Mm, awesome. All right, let's go try some. Sell some popsicles. <laughs> popsicles, popsicles. Who wants a popsicle? 
I love popsicles and that was so much fun learning about how to make popsicles with you at Mom and Pop Shop in Costa Mesa, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. Well, see you later. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather? <laughs> Tickle. Or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, okay. all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple, and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit, and I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, the apple is heavier. Wow, <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes, and they actually are pretty. Whoa, light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute. Okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, well, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. 
I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and... Perfect. Okay. Oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now, we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount a volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Woo, 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 woo. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer Rain. 
They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over. Here comes the bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. <laughs> Put in the box. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. <laughs>